What's up, everybody? My name is Blade. Welcome to some Minecraft story mode. I heard they were making this a little while ago, and it's finally here, and I've been dying to try it out. It's only $5, and I like Minecraft, so this should be very, very interesting. Sorry I haven't been posting any normal Minecraft episodes like I usually do. I've been getting on still and doing some work, but not enough to make an episode. Uh, and me and another guy have been playing other games uh, I'm taking a tiny break from Minecraft, but we'll be back on soon. Don't worry about that, and I will be making more episodes soon. But for now, let's do this. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll be talking through this. Maybe I'll just let it play through. We'll see. Uh, you might hear me every now and then. Um, but other than that, here we go. Minecraft Story Mode. Let's play. Nothing built can last forever, and every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost, until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, lies. And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the Rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zoran the Architect, builder of worlds and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. But when one story ends, another one begins. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or ten zombie-sized chickens? Yeah. Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons yeah. or armor, so you'd have to fight them with your hands. I'd have to go with the giant chickens, not because I want to or because I think it would be easy, but because... They would be an abomination. Imagine their giant feet. Like I said, an abomination. So, I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us. Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he okay, is. Okay, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. It's not weird at all. Reuben is the best pet I could ask for. Obedient, loyal, and always happy to see me at the end of a long day. No friend. I should have said friend, not pet. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. I'm getting tired of it. I'm tired of being a laughingstock. 
Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Okay. Fine. Did you hear that? Oh, no. Boom! <laughs> You guys totally freaked out. That was uh... Uh, Axel, what's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Cool mask. It is, isn't it? Yeah, very convincing. <laughs> the look on your faces. Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. <laughs> he looks awesome. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. You've definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. I'm waiting on you guys. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. All right, now, whoa. I had no idea it was like this. That's so cool. All right, um. Gabriel? The warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? It's not impossible. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Really should change the name. His voice sounds familiar, and I can picture who it is. I just can't think of him right now. Ooh, open this. Shear is definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. Hmm, flint and steel, not too shabby. This is so cool. I had no idea it was this type of game mode. I got this stand as a gift, but don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Give me a dragon roar, Reuben. <laughs> That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. <laughs> so I guess that's everything in here, so... Go. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one. The special guest at this year's Endercon is none other than Gabriel the Warrior, him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two. According to my sources, the winner of the building competition is going to get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally. He's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. Reuben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year, we've got Reuben with us. We basically have no chance. I love how you can choose. Anything can happen if win this time. We're going to win because... What are you talking about? Because up to now, we've hated losing. But today, today, my friends, we're going to start learning how to love winning.
that didn't sound as good as it did in my head. No, no, I'm with that. All right. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. We have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than Creepers. They both have their moments. They're both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a Creeper today. Endermen are cool. Build an Enderman. Ah, uh, Olivia's thing? Are you whining? No, I was saying awesome. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. No, no, no. Preparing is daring. No, that's, that's the same thing. Forget it. Uh, team on three. One, two, three. Team. team. <laughs> What the heck? Doing push-ups. I'm like... <laughs> yeah! I'm like doing the workout montage. Yeah! Speed! Yeah, get your sit-ups in. We know what we're building, we've got all the stuff for it, we are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build, I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Mm. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> Great. The fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. Name, please? Axel. And uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. So much for losing anonymously. We're the Nether Maniac. Yeah, I like that. You just thought of that right now? Yep. We've never even been to the Nether. Who the Nether cares? Okay, Nether Maniac. <laughs> it's a Nether. Uh, ah, ah. So I'm walking around here. Got a, this is... I play inverted. So I have to switch this. Can I switch gameplay? There you go. Inverted. Perfect. I do on video. Okay. You know what? I might put subtitles on. So just in case you can't hear well on YouTube. Um, you guys can have that. Uh, apply. There we go. That's better. That's me. Hmm. Nope. Oh, cool.
Cool. It's cool. Man, it's crowded. You know what's weird is my inverted. Is actually, <laughs> having a hard time playing with inverted. That's weird because I usually play inverted. Um, but I guess when it's pointing, normal? Let's see. Weird. Okay. Well, let's move on here. There's my team. I'm just going to go and walk by them because I want to see other people. I don't like the look of this. It's cool. Everyone has teams. I go over here. No? Okay. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. Oh my god, this beacon sounds awesome. Our design's way cooler. Our design is way cooler. A gigantic Enderman is better than a fancy light. Their difficulty score is going to be higher than our total score. We've got something they don't. Fireworks. We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the Order of the Losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Well, maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. <laughs> I'm talking about your pig. Um. Saying he's food. Ruben is not food. Ruben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Jesse. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, <laughs> guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are? Oh, we're going to crush you. We're going to crush you. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but we're pretty good. Oh, wait. I get it. It's like a joke, right? No, I'm serious. We're going to destroy you. <laughs> you know, you're really funny. It's like Conan. That's awesome. Hey, good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon building competition. <laughs> the winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet, in person, Gabriel the Warrior. <laughs> Ocelot! 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 Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. We'll call it the... Uh... Mm, to build a bump. For grab the warrior whip. Warrior whip. The warrior whip. Hmm. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan and everything will be fine. This year, the Nether Maniacs can't lose. Let's do it. Building starts now. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser? I'm so scared. <laughs> you worry about your build, and we'll worry about ours. 
That's so cool. Hell, everyone else looks like crap. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Yeah! This looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. I gotta admit, this Enderman is sweet. Good call, Jesse. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man! What? No way. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. Whoops. Oh, what a dick. Oh no, Ruben's on fire. Ruben, no, come back. It was Aiden. That the lava's getting closer. It's ruin the build. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build um, is in flames. Screw the build. Let's go get Ruben. Gotta get Ruben. Oof. We're right behind you. Ah. Ah. Nice build, too. I don't see him anywhere, Reuben. The sun's going down. We gotta find him fast. He could have gone anywhere, and this part of the woods is huge. We stand a better chance of finding him if we split up. If either of you get lost, just use the lights from Endercon to make your way back to town. Got it? Got it. Ruben? Where are you? Just give me an oink if you can hear me. All right, guys. We're going to end the video right there. A nice, good first part of... Um, uh, a good part one of the story mode. Um, about to go find Ru Ruben here. It's about to get dark. So thank you all for watching. This is, I'm actually enjoying this a lot more than I thought. So I hope you're enjoying it too. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys later. And see you on the next episode.